I feel strange, like, like I'm slowly becoming a maniac. <coughs> Me too, Bex. I, ugh, I, I think, I think we're all turning into uh, maniacs. <laughs> Umbrella-holics. We are the Umbrella Holics. I am your host today, Jay Maniac. And I'm Beck Maniac. And this is Steph Maniac. We have a special guest today. She's a very awesome person. Uh, she's related to us. I think she's our brother's sister's cousin. Is that right, Beck, or is it different? Uh, I thought it was our cousin's brother's sister. What do you say about that, Steffi? What can you clarify? <laughs> Well, she's related. Okay. <laughs> That's about all I can, okay. all I can say. <laughs> she's related and she's awesome. I'd like to introduce everybody to Lizzie Maniac. Hi, guys. Hey, hey Liz. Liz. Oh. What up, cuz? <laughs> you ready to get fucking wacky? Sure. Drink of the day. Martini. Need a cool drink to wash down the 1,200 calories and 1,500 milligrams of salt from that tasty movie theater popcorn? Look no further. Get it, shake it, not stir it or on the rocks. Not an olive person? No problem. Add a twist of lemon to kick it up to glorious heights of sophistication. Whatever the case, this refreshing, elegant drink will make you feel like a super spy, a smooth crooner, or refined jet-setting royalty. So open the Hidden Globe bar, sit back, take a sip, and feel like a movie star in the golden age of Hollywood. Cheers. I guess that calls for for us to start goddamn drinking like right fucking now. That's it. Cheers. Who's, who's got your drinks? Oh. I have a drink. Okay, what are you drinking, on. Lizzie? I took frozen mangoes. Ooh. I took tequila. And I took a, a ginger simple syrup that I made. And Ooh. then, and lime juice. Oh, my goodness. You're a professional alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> That's some serious gourmet shit. Yeah. I know. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? We we got driveway vodka in one. I don't even remember the name of it. What? Driveway Go ahead. vodka is called Recipe Two Premier Vodka Twenty One. Oh, Recipe Twenty One. I didn't see the one. <laughs> recipe Twenty One. That makes that makes more sense than two. It right? does. Whatever. It's like nineteen more. Well, well that <laughs> damn. Well, that means they killed scores of people twenty other times and just got this one right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, blast off. Salute. La crème. Salute. <laughs> Beans to life. Woo. Yeah. It's a bit of the holy water. Bonsai. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start off with a little bit of a game. And this is going to be for Steph and Beck. You're going to be battling. The first, we'll say four, is the winner. And I'm putting a little putting a little stakes on this here the winner is going to get the next bad present and there's also going to be something in there of monetary value Ooh. okay gold, all right gold bars <laughs> gold bullion <laughs> <laughs> so the way it's played is it's either going to be a song from a movie like highway to the danger zone and you got to guess the movie or we're gonna hum the score from a movie so like jaws would be like dan 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 all right. So Lizzie, do you oh. have one first? That is the dancing movie Flash Dance. Damn. <laughs> what a feeling. <laughs> I knew the song, but I didn't know the movie. Okay. Yeah, there's oh. a big there's a big like intro like I don't know what you call that, but a lot of music before the it gets going and it starts you know, starts getting more like uh lively in the song. Exactly. You know? It builds. Right. It builds. <laughs> Round number two. Go Jacob. Okay, here we go. Dent to the dent dent. Dent to the dent dent. Dent to the dent 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 to the dent 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 Twentieth century fox beginning. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll continue it for Steffi. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Star Wars. Dun, eh. No. It's Superman. Oh. oh I used damn. to 
do that then. too. I always confuse those two, which is really probably insulting to score makers. What are they called? Musicians? What are score yeah. makers made? <laughs> <laughs> score makers. Score makers, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Music fuck faces. Oh, dang. That's the official Okay, title. so Steffi's got one, Beck's got zero. Here we go. Lizzie, next one. <laughs> Karate Kid. And it's, I am a man who, what was it? Peter Sotero? <laughs> yeah, yeah Peter Sotero. Yeah, but will you give it to them, Jay? Yeah, it's sure, not, why not? It's Karate, Karate Kid 2, right? Yes! Okay. <laughs> that was they're good. Running, they're running to a fucking castle. That's what's happening during that song. <laughs> yes! <laughs> They're like sprinting <laughs> over rocks and nobody falls, which is shocking to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and holding hands at one point. Yeah, what? All right, here All right, we we're go. We're tied up. We're tied up one to you're, one. You're tied up one to one. I'm going to get that Bitcoin if it kills me. <laughs> Round a three. Meet me halfway <laughs> across the sky. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to go with Top Gun. No. <gasps> what? Let me continue for Steffi, okay? Okay. What? Out where the world belongs to only you and I. I have no no clue. Okay. That's Kenny Loggins. I knew this would be a little bit of a weird one, and it's from Over the Top. Oh, I know. What? I've never seen that movie. What? I thought What even is Over the Top? It's arm wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Jason. Oh. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. I never uh, saw right. that, but, you know, I love Stallone and all his very masculine movies. Mm. Well, it doesn't get much more masculine in this. You got you to try it out. Damn it. Yeah. I'm very disappointed in myself on that. <laughs> Where you're, it's you're a not. tiebreaker right now. Oh, so it is? Okay. It's one to one. Yep. sounded like it wasn't a movie that i was thinking of but like little the, house on the prairie no uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a <laughs> sorry i can't even think of his name now but there's a famous song from like the 70s or are you thinking of tiptoe through the tulips no i was oh. thinking of uh, <laughs> can't think of his name so right, you failed. sorry jay sorry Do you know it jay do you know it jay no man what is it <laughs> it's from the mission the movie the- did you guys ever see that? No. Robert De Niro and Jeremy Irons. Movie. Robert De Niro is a Spanish conquistador, but he still has a Bronx accent. It's awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I know that. Yeah. yeah I've seen it, but it, not enough to know that. That was the, the most random ass song to get. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. I fucking love that soundtrack. Oh, my God. Not the soundtrack, just that song. I mean, I was hoping for some color purple or something. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. I went too All right, far. Look. All right, look, look. It's t- it's tied one to one. We're gonna go to three, okay? So let's let's just do the next one because this one you will definitely get. It's gonna be very fast, okay? Are you okay. ready? We're ready. Here we go. Bum 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 bum. Flash. Ah. Flash Gordon. Nice. Woo! Becky's up two to one. Whoever gets the three gets the package. Liz, you are next. Oh, okay. Saint Elmo's Fire. Whoa! Becky wins the prize. I win the prize, but I'm gonna give my Bitcoin to Steph. All forty-eight thousand of it. Yeah. That is yeah. cause love. Yeah. Holy shit. I if I win big, I'm just going to take off and no one's going to know that I left. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not giving the Bitcoin to Steph. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a bonus one for all three of you, okay? And it's very oh, fast. Da, 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 da. Oh, what? Rocky. Rocky. Wait, wait. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I got, ner- it, I got nervous just when came you said out. what. No, I was I saying think- it for you. <laughs> no, I'm going to pretend that you threw your voice and like it was me, but it was like you saying it. We okay. both say Rocky. All right, you both win. Let's move on. <laughs> um, 
we're going to talk about some times we went to the movies high or on drugs. So I went and saw The Doors at a midnight showing in 1991, and we were sitting way in the back in the middle. And as soon as all the previews were over, this hand came into view with a joint. And I'm like looking around and everybody's fucking smoking joints. So I took a hit of it, passed it down, it came back to me. And we were all super baked during the doors, and it couldn't have been a better movie to do that. Wow. Nice. Mine is I went on uh, gel tabs, too, of LSD gel tabs. <gasps> and I went and saw Prince of Egypt, which is an animated, I think it's like a Disney or a biblical film. I really can't remember because I was tripping balls. I remember at one point I was so tripping that I just wanted to go out the exit door the whole time. I was just looking at the glow of the exit door. I couldn't take it anymore. I got my cousin. We went out the exit door and we walk out to this blizzard and we have to get into this really shitty pickup truck that has no traction. It's not a four by four. And the snow was coming so fast and building up as ice on the windshield that we only had a hole the size of a quarter to look out of the whole way home on 690 doing 55 miles an hour in this truck with no traction on high on acid. And that's my story. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. That sounded like a crazy dream. Like you were describing a crazy dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the story I was going to tell didn't have to do with a movie theater, just a movie I was watching over my, at my friend's house. Basically, what got me from, uh, I, I got so bored with smoking pot because my friends would invite me over their house and they would watch the animated Disney movie Fantasia over and over and over again. Oh, yeah. And I would just look at everybody with their bloodshot eyes and them just lounging out and looking so tired. And I felt so tired. I was done. That was it for me. <laughs> 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 Couldn't take it anymore. I was like, this is the most boring crap I've ever so you're experienced saying in my life. Disney's Fantasia made you quit smoking pot forever. It did. And cigarettes made me because I was smoking cigarettes at that time. I just kind of started. Yeah. I like energy. I was more into like the uppers than <laughs> rather than the downers. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say was... that should be a, a, a campaign that Disney uh. uses anti drugs, but then you're like, and then I did yeah. cocaine. Yeah. And you're like, oh no, oh no, shut it down. I did tried cocaine for a short amount of time, and it was still to this day is my favorite drug. <laughs> I loved it. It was like I have energy. I can clean my house. I can go jog around my neighborhood. The downs were bad, <laughs> but but the the ups were good. <laughs> yeah, if you get clean shit, it's great. Because this one dude I knew, I went to the Halloween parade, and I, we meet up, and he's like, he looked like shattered. And I go, dude, what's wrong? He's like, I was doing cocaine all night. And it was really bad cocaine, and it's I can just it's the worst hangover I've ever had. How did we How just you, shift Lizzie? from Fantasia to cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I took us there. I'm so sorry. Rotten bastard. How about you, Lizzie? <laughs> uh, mine's so weird. Like I, <laughs> I'll just give you the preface. In the '90s, I met a guy under the Amtrak board in Penn Station. And we were Ooh both headed la. to D.C. I know it was a real meet cute. And I was like, let's see where this leads. And it led nowhere except uh, smoking pot at like a movie. And that movie was the American president of all weird films. <laughs> 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 a, a Rob Reiner film. A widowed U.S. president running for real leching and an environmental lobbyist fall in love. <laughs> oh, I have one other, we're just talking about drugs and movies here, and I, I, one came to mind. Our mutual friend, Steffi and Becky, you know, Dave Black, he was hanging at the house with my brother, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go see a movie. And he goes, hit hit this, man. Hit, hit this. And I fucking hit it. And, and as I'm like gathering my shit to leave, he's like, oh, that's opium, by the way. <gasps> so wow. I go I go see Air Force One by myself. And I left like within a third of the movie because I couldn't even think straight. I was so it was so strong and it like pounded my head. I couldn't I couldn't put together the words in my head to let's get out of here and go to the car. It was just like car, get out. So uh yeah, that's the last time I think I did oh opium. My god. <laughs> Oh my God. It was way too fucking crazy. Was that the first time and the last time or just? He slipped me one before with Disastra. Yeah, I think this oh was the, this was a pure, a pure hit. It was a different kind of smoke. <laughs> different kind of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a movie title, like a documentary on opium. A different kind of smoke? Yeah. It does. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's your new film, Jay. Wee. Go with that. <laughs> Make it happen.
Thank you all for coming in today, all you maniacs. I hear you got some stories to pitch for some motion pictures. Which one of you bastards want to go first? Let's go. Let's start this off. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, sir. Listen, we all four came up with this. It's genius. You're going to love it. There's a girl. She's riding on a banana seat bike with a bell and a basket. She's in a forest. There's a shirtless vampire. <laughs> you mean like Edward the Vampire? With a cape flowing teeth and shit he grabs her to suck her dry and then that's the movie we're not getting off to a good start here i'm, I'm gonna have to start taking some tums all right who's next you you what do you got tell me let's go let's go okay listen to this picture this in your head the weevil people a large family farm is growing gmo food but something is wrong but they need money so they ship it to the stores anyway people start buying and eating the produce then one by one, the people start changing. They start turning into weevil people with an insatiable appetite for vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> with an insatiable appetite for vegetables, making the farmers even richer. The only antidote comes from a group of hunters in the nearby town. And that's all, that's, that's the story there. That's all you got for me. Hey, Weinstein would have taken this if he wasn't in jail. I'm telling you right now. You, uh... Already, here we go. You shut up. Next. Who's next? <laughs> okay, how about this? Takes place in an amusement park. Sounds good so far. All right, all the carnies and everyone but the people on the rides have vanished. The rides are still going. Ferris wheels, roller coasters, even the scrambler. Still scrambling. With passing minutes, they have to figure out how to get off the rides without dying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that. That was actually not so bad. I was going to kick you all out in your fucking heads, but we'll keep going. All right, who's next? You, you with the curly hair there. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, well, mine's kind of, it's just like a fast log line. Okay, there is a 12-inch a plastic ruler that cruelly conquers a desk, and then the pencils rebel. It's a romance. <laughs> Are we, is this going to be animated, or is this is this like live action? Live action, definitely. Well, how the fuck, how many, how fucking budget, was that going to be? It's going to be cheap. We'll go to Staples. <laughs> not not too bad here. What, what about you, fuckface? Over here. What about you there, Slim Jim? Let's go. Let's go. So so mine, mine is, now, now get this shit, okay? This is going to be fucking great. There's this dude, and he's a genius. And he takes all these parts from, like, an old electric typewriter, a modem, and stuff. He fucking builds a time machine, okay? But he stays in the present. Well. Let me get this straight. He builds a time machine. He can go anywhere in the fucking time, but he stays in the present. Well, yeah, I want to, you know, he has problems and shit. He goes to the fucking therapist and... That's yeah, deep yeah. as fuck, Jay. I can have you fucking killed for fucking around me. You know that, right? All right? Who's next? Give me another one. I got one. Just one line. Underwater unicorns. Or we could switch it to Pegasuses if you want. Underwater Pegasuses. <laughs> That's it. What do you think? Pegasi. 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 That's it. That's all you got? Just think about it. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what, okay? I'll tell you what. I'm going to count to five, and on five, if you're still here, I'm going to firebomb your apartment, all right? Get out! All right, uh, I'll pitch you a one-liner. Yeah, let's go. Come on, I'm running out of patience here. Time is money. All right, think of this, sir. Think of this. Yeah. Zombies who have predators. They're yetis. The yetis are chasing the zombies. Is there a love story or anything? I... It evolves. It evolves on its own. All right. All right hold on. Let, let me tell you something. I once had a director come into me. He pitched me a movie. I ended up maiming him unrecognizable because he was wasting my time. You know what that movie was? No. It was The Godfather. Get out. You're out. All right. How about, how about you? All right, man. Okay. I'm getting a little nervous here because people are getting thrown out and threatened, but this is fucking gangbusters. This is going to be, this is going to fill the multiplexes. They're going to be in the rafters and in the fucking windows, waiting to see the shit. Okay, here we, here, here we go. Yeah, all right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. One girl, one guy, a beach house, all right? A mansion, an attic, a glacier. Uh, and then an asteroid. It looks like I'm going to be firebombing two apartments. Get out! Uh, Who's next? Bye, guys. I'll miss you. Um, I, I mean, all I have, uh, a couple try in vain to disassemble a stool they purchase so they can return it. It's a horror movie. Really so scary. 
you know what? That might actually work because fucking Ikea. That sounds like an Ikea horror story there. Exactly. You know what? Let's work on a deal here. here we, yeah, I'll produce that. All right. Yeah, good, good. good. Thank you. Let's talk about our first Hollywood crush. Um. Well, all right. First Hollywood crush. I don't know if this is my first. Okay, I'll say there's two. I had, I definitely had a poster. Slot. Oh my God, how dare you? <laughs> I had a poster of Rob Lowe from St. Elmo's Fire. Did he have the saxophone and shit and the headband? I don't think it had the saxophone, but I had the headband. Yeah, mm. he had the whole, that whole look. He saved Demi Moore. What's hotter? Nice. Um, and then I also, in, I don't know, sixth grade maybe, I wrote a story, like a fictional, obviously fictional story about the time I went on a date with Corey Haim. Oh, shit. It was delightful. License to drive Corey Haim or Silver Bullet Corey Haim? Or... I would say like Lost Boys Corey Haim. Oh. Yeah. All right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for your approval, guys. I really appreciate it. That was, it. yeah. yeah I... <laughs> no, mine was, uh, I loved 21 Jump Street. I loved Johnny Depp. I loved Richard Grieco, and I couldn't get enough of him. I definitely had, I think I had. Richard Grieco. <laughs> yeah. He was from Watertown, too, so we used to think maybe we'll bump into him when oh, he's yeah. visiting his family. Him and Tom Cruise, we used to think, hey, we'll run into him. Yeah. From here. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> but now Johnny Depp is really scary looking. Yeah. I yeah, don't know what is. Richard Grieco looks like, but he, Johnny Depp looks like. I bet you Richard Grieco's eyes have gotten further apart. <laughs> <laughs> He also looks like a pirate, too. Yeah. I thought Johnny Depp was aging really well up until recently, and then he looks like death warmed over. Yeah, he does, man. He's starting to look like Keith Richards now and shit. All right, I'm going to go bisexual here. (laughs) Do it. I bet you you and I share one of these. Oh, okay. Christy McNichol and Tatum (laughs) O'Neill. Because they were in Little Darlings together. Little Darlings, man. (laughs) I think a lot of girls had crushes on them because they were like little tomboys, you know? Yeah, they kind of were with the yeah. flowing 80s hair. Yeah. They yeah. all had the feathered hair and the mullets. Yep. And then uh, for guys, I, I used to just think t- Antonio Banderas. Banderas. Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. What, the Desperado days or whatever that was with the flowing uh, hair. N- 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 <laughs> Remember with yeah. Selma Hayek? He's like blowing shit up the whole movie. No, maybe like a four room. Four Antonio, Rooms was a cool movie. Antonio Banderas. Oh, oh okay. that actually makes me think. I forgot about. It. I had a brief thing for Lou Diamond Phillips. <laughs> oh. <laughs> La, La, La Bamba? <laughs> was no, one? no. Like, what was the song where they had the the um uh, Blaze of Glory? Yeah. What was that movie? Young Guns yeah. yeah. Two or yeah. one? Yeah, or... yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> That was later. That was later, obviously. But I love La Bamba. Oh, dang. You guys' Spanish is off. Well, when you're trying, I grew up with a lot of foreign music. My dad would listen to music in German and Italian. And hmm. I would sing along to the German songs, but I'm pretty sure it was about as equal as us just repeating La Bamba back to you. Oh, damn. Wasn't getting it at all, but just kind of thought I was getting it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a step in the right direction. Well, back. <laughs> yes. Back. I think this is the one. I, I, have a, I have a few. But I'll name one or two, but I think this is the one that we share. Remember mm. when fucking Angelina Jolie came out with Hackers and Gia? Yes. And we were both fucking drooling over here. We're going to fight each other <laughs> over her. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we both had an Angelina Jolie. I'm very, I'm almost ashamed of that, saying that. When you see <laughs> Don't you change. ever be ashamed of your <laughs> <laughs> Jason, did you buy me a VHS with her? I swear you did. And you gave what, it to me for the my Gia? birthday. Yeah. I think it might have been Gia, yeah. Yeah, for my birthday. You gave me a copy of Gia. I <laughs> love that movie. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it too on pause it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see playing by heart with her in it? No. No. It's a weird random ass like What is it know. about? It's like a I guess it's like a romantic comedy ish, but it's like a family romantic comedy. Is that a category? I don't know what that is. What There's the a bunch hell of people that come out. Nineteen ninety eight. Okay, that was about the time she was in like Hackers and Gia and shit. All I know is Sean Connery was dating someone his own age, and I was like, way to go, Sean Connery. 
<laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. Was Ryan Philippe in that movie? Yes. Yeah, I think he was. Oh, what the fuck <laughs> movie is this? It was the randomest movie. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and now I remember. Yeah. Ryan Philippe. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, Ryan Philippe. <laughs> he uh he was married to Reese, Reese. Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. Yeah. No, right. that doesn't ring. I think he cheated all. on her. What a <laughs> Yeah. He was in. Was he not in a? No, that's Hayden Christian. Fifty four, the movie about Studio Fifty Four. He was in. I know what you did last summer. U turn or something. I think it was. I don't know. There's around this household. It's no secret that I love Joyce Heiser from just one of the guys. I always thought she was very beautiful. She was androgynous looking for sure. Yeah. Well, in the yeah. beginning, she's not. And holy no, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did she actually? Did she actually kiss a girl in that movie? Because that would have been like really Gay. risque back then. Yeah, did she actually do that. I don't remember, but a, a, a fun fact: she was dating Bruce Springsteen at the time, and she was on tour with him. No, nice. oh, tour bus. yeah, Bruce what? Springsteen. Wow, was she in one? No, she wasn't in a video. Did that she... was all she was in. Oh, I'm a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Did she ever do anything after that? Like, what happened to her? I don't know. I thought she was pretty funny. I, I don't really remember her in anything else. Maybe she just became a mom. <laughs> You're crushing Jason's <laughs> dreams right now. Hey. She's hey. a MILF. A MILF. She's... <laughs> <What's> a... <laughs> All right. What is a MILF? I've heard this term. What is a MILF? Oh, Mother, no. I'd like to. <clears throat> oh, yep. <laughs> Sorry. I had no idea. That's I've okay. Heard... And then I think they have DILF. They have DILFs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I used to like, you know, when you when you're looking at someone as, you know, a kid, you think, wow, they're really. She was in uh, Big Trouble in Little China, but she was in Sex in the City later on. I can't think of her name. Uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? She oh, uh, the... Kim Cattrall. Oh, Kim Cattrall. I was like, wow, she's gorgeous. That's what I was going to say, but I did not know. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. Kim Cattrall is gorgeous. Yeah, she is. If you go, if you watch, she's Big not. Trouble, yeah. I mean, yeah, man. I think she's gorgeous. gorgeous. I agree but with you. Isn't an older woman? She's attractive, but when younger, she was like smoking yeah mannequin oh i forgot about mannequin i remember going to see mannequin as me too oh my gosh i remember going to go see that in the theaters oh what's the theme song from that movie (laughs) nothing's gonna stop us now (laughs) (laughs) yeah that was good yeah oh shit you know what you know what I, I think it's time for another drink. Yeah, because I can't focus. I, I'm, I'm looking dry at Kim right now. Ho- hold I on. My, my eye peop- glasses fell off. Your glasses fell off? <laughs> my glasses Jason. fell off. What? They went down the crevasse. Oh, no. Y- yes, Here's a direct, a direct quote from uh, my husband who's at work that he hates. I hate this cunt fuck cock job. <laughs> 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 I missed his call. He'll be all right. <laughs> you know who was the other one that I used to think was... Amazing looking as a Who? female. I loved uh, Sigourney Weaver. I thought she was. Oh, amazing. interesting. I loved her. It's an awesome I'm, beaten path. I met her, man. I, I was at the video store and I turn around and she was there and she's like, Can I rent? And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Isn't but, she but, like six feet tall or something? Like, really? She tall. was really tall. But and then Disaster goes, Hey, did you see Sigourney Weaver today? I said, Yeah, it was really cool. And she goes, she fucking complained about the prices of a bra today at the Gap. What? That's very strange. She's mm-hmm. living on a budget, I guess, as a millionaire. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's like they just keep calling. Movies are, I guess, a, a big deal. So, Lizzie, you take this next call. I, I, I'm done. Okay. Umbrella holics. What do you want? Yeah, this is Marge. I'm calling from the basement. Uh, Marge, who, who the, who the fuck is this? Where can I find the best little whorehouse in Texas? I don't, I, I don't have that. Well, where are you hiding the Englishman who went up a hill but came down a mountain? I don't even know what that is. Where's Fargo? North Dakota. Okay, what about Philadelphia? Pennsylvania. <laughs> Raised in Arizona? Huh? Sweet home Alabama. My family's actually got Georgian roots, believe it or not. Oh. Okay, never mind, though. I found it. What'd you find? Uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. And by the way, I'm taking your VCR. Bye. Okay, it's not working at all, but good luck. Bye. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. 
The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Are we ready for a drink? Yeah. Definitely. All right, everybody. Drink number two. Three, two, one. Nostrovia. Nostrovia. Salute. Chin chin. Oh, my God. Our livers are just like, why? Do you ever get pain in your liver? <laughs> I have. That's such a serious <laughs> question. Where is the liver? On the right or the left side? It's on your right side, just below your rib cage. Yeah. I know that because I've done standardized patient work, and they have to press on your liver to see whether whether it's distended. Yeah, I don't want to know about my. <laughs> I've had pain in the liver, and I've been to the hospital for it. You don't want it. it yeah. Sucks. <laughs> pain in what the a, liver. What a pain in the liver. <laughs> now let's talk about some driving experiences. You might have some. You might not. Please forgive me, but I have uh, never been to a drive-in. What? Oh. I know. Maybe my past life. Maybe in the past life, I was like, Jimmy, would you give me some popcorn? Hurry back before the movie starts. He's a Let's dream. all go to the lobby. You know? Let's yeah, all exactly. Go to the lobby. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get on that, man. Damn it. Oh, so much fun. How about you, Steffi? I only have one, and it was okay. actually in uh, California. I'm not sure if it was. I, my brother lived in Oakland, but we were always going back and forth from there to San Francisco. I stayed there for about a month. Jurassic Park came out. Ooh. I was with uh, two of my brother's friends. They took us to the movie, and basically, they gave us the little speakers to put on our car doors, and yep. whenever it, the T-Rex would like make a loud noise, it would blow out the speaker. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the anything. sound couldn't have been that great with the dinosaur stomping around. I couldn't around. concentrate, and then when I got back home, I was like talking to my brother Tim, who was like an expert on dinosaurs at like 10 years old. He would say nerdy things to me like, Jurassic Park is it accurate because uh, all those dinosaurs were in the Cretaceous period and not the Jurassic period, so I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, well, it sucked anyways, which it didn't. It's like the, the best movie. They have so many good lines in that movie, but I couldn't hear any of them because of the bad speakers, so I thought it was a crappy movie until I watched it again. I was like, this movie's awesome. So so like Jeff Goldblum was kind of like, when we do a dinosaur, nature's going to come back and get us in the ass. Like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the lines in that movie are great, especially him. I love that that kid had a problem with like the inaccuracy of the dinosaur time period, but not that they had like a theme park for dinosaurs. Yeah. yeah no, <laughs> he was more bothered that they used the wrong dinosaurs in the wrong dinosaur period. <laughs> <laughs> Umbrella-holic. Jay, you and I have a shared experience. I'm just going to start it, and I might have you finish, but I basically saved up a lot of my dental technician money <laughs> to buy mm -hmm. the worst car ever, which was like a Hyundai Accent base model. It, it was before the Accent, so it was like, I don't even know. They don't make them anymore. Is that your standard? But it was loaded sure. with speakers. I had to have it just loaded with speakers. So I got really excited and I'm like, let's shove as many people as we can in Buffalo into the car yep. and go to the drive-in. And I remember we pulled in, I was excited, you know, car full of people. We were going into the drive-in. We were watching uh, Samuel L. Jackson or somebody was in something. Shaft or something? Yes. Okay. Yes. Shaft was on the main screen and then something was off to the right. I don't know. Yeah. There were screens everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> And what happened, Jay? Well, uh, we're <laughs> Becky's in the front with Disaster, and I'm in the back with our friend Buffalo Joe and some other chick. I don't remember her name. We noticed to the left of us, there was this car full of frat boys. They were partying like fucking John Belushi. They were fucking, they kept going to the back of the car and opening up the trunk and getting beers out. <laughs> And, like they're uh, tailgating at the movies, man. We noticed them because they had like eight people in the fucking car. And every 30 seconds, somebody was going out and back and getting more beers for everybody. You know, they were partying. Everything was great. <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden, we, we I go, look, look, Beck. And this dude is back behind the car, like with his hand and head on the fucking trunk and just spouts of puke are coming out. And then <laughs> and then one after another, it used to be one after another was getting beers for each other. And now it was one after another was puking. And we didn't I don't even remember the fucking movie. I remember we were just so entertained and laughing and, and they'd like do like a thumbs up and shit. I don't remember Shaft at all. I don't remember it. So were you high? No, I don't think I was. <laughs> I was driving. 
I never saw Shaft either. Not, I didn't yeah. even know that existed until you said it. Such actually. a mouth. <laughs> it's the worst movie ever, stuff. You're not missing out on much. Okay. It is the worst movie. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> One time trying to get into an R-rated movie, I was with my friend Rick. We went we went to go try to see Lost Boys and they wouldn't let us in and we had to call Rick's mom and she came and signed like a thing and let and we got to go see Lost Boys. Wow. <laughs> awesome. A signature which seems like you could have faked a signature. Oh, totally. I used to fake yeah. signatures to buy cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> What? What do you mean? I had a, a, a local store in my neighborhood that you could go down and pay for anything on credit. You'd say, put that on credit, which was my parents' like bill that they would <laughs> accumulate at the store. Wow. And I would just get go down and get candy, get cigarettes. I'm like, yeah, my dad needs cigarettes. And they knew he smoked, and I could get away with it. So, And sometimes they'd say, you need your parents' signature. So I would just fake a note. and then. <laughs> well, how, how fucking old were you? 13, 12, I don't know. Somewhere it's now. awesome. It sounds so old timey. Like it sounds like, you know, <laughs> the five and dime, like something that would happen. Hey girls, let's go check out a movie at Zombie Steph's Theater. Maybe she'll give us a discount. What uh what movie you wanna see? We're, we're going to see the Lost Boys? Aren't we girls? Aren't we? Yeah, we're the Lost, the Lost Boys. Boys. You look like baby. No way. How old are you? I'm seventeen. I'm thirty seven. You have to be eighteen. Well, she's my mom. <laughs> you go I'm her mom. You too young to be mom. I'm the dad. I get manager. You go back. You get your mom write a note. You can come back in. Look, 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 look. We don't. You know. Let's take care of this here. here here's twenty. All right. Just let us in. You know. We're we're all we're all eighteen. It's fine. Twenty to. I I make tons of money. I don't need your money. I get in big trouble. I get fired. You guys come in. <laughs> I eat you later. I so angry now. <laughs> wait, wait. Can you just let us in, please? We've been waiting for this movie for a long time. We saw it in Fangoria. We want to see Kiefer Sutherland turn into a fucking vampire. So uh, excited. Uh, you have any other children maybe uh, bring to me? I eat them? Uh, we have a note. I want braids. You give me braids. <laughs> you go see the Lost Boys. You can eat the kid behind us, okay? Eat the kid L behind. He's all, he's all alone. He's going to see Never Ending Story. Just, you know, bite his head. You take I'm him. A loser. I like Never Ending Story, my favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> you like the flying dragon? It's a big dog. You know nothing. Okay, so we're in? Cool? Okay, you go in. You go in. But behave. Don't tell anybody. You do anything wrong, I will eat all of you. It's it's the 80s. Don't worry mm. about it. Everything's fine. God, her finger you notice... came off with the ticket. <laughs> yeah, and she smelled so bad. Nasty. All right, you know what? We need some popcorn. We need some gummy bears and stuff. Let's go get some popcorn and stuff. Wait a minute. There's somebody standing there. Looks just like her waiting to take our tickets to get in there. How the fuck did she get there so fast? One of those speed zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I do everything here. I, I see you guys. I ran to the uh, popcorn. Uh, I, I'll sell you guys popcorn. What, what do you want to eat? I was going to ask for some popcorn, but can you put that brain down? Was that uh, the kid from behind us? Hold on. I'll, let me just mix. I put the brain. I want a box of goo. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> let me put the brain down. I'll just stick it in. Uh, I'll pop it with the popcorn. Tastes amazing. Yeah, why not? Uh, no, I, I just want those Sour Patch Kids. Here you go, Sour Patch Kids. What else do you want? Oh, my God. Uh, Reese's Pieces? Like E.T.? Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. I get Reese's Pieces for you. Guys, my Sour Patch Kids have slime all over them. Disgusting. I can't help it. I'm a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gross. I leak. My butt uh, leaks. My brain leaks. Everything <laughs> leaks. <laughs> I don't want anything. Hey, hold on. Let me put on my gloves. Oh, well, that'll help. Puts on the gloves. <laughs> Let me see your tickets. Oh, we already gave them to you back there playing you as oh. another you. No, wait a second. I Okay, I got them. Uh, it says uh, A24. Way in the front. Worst seats. Sorry about <laughs> we, that. We don't want that. Don't yes. want that. I can't help it. That's what you bought. Yeah, you but there's seats in the it. back there. You can't go there. <laughs> You just sit right up front, look up, 90 degree angle. It hurts our <laughs> neck. This zombie theater sucks. Okay, I accept that. <laughs> are you running this whole place? You know, zombies are everywhere. We're the new oh. LGBTQ zombie. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man?
man. Girls, let's just get our seats and go before we get kicked out, all right? That's just weird. You have juicy arms. I like your arms. Come over here, come over here. Get away from her. Can I just can I just have a little bit of popcorn and one bite of your tricep? <laughs> <laughs> just just want to sink my teeth into that flabby flesh at the back of your arm. No, the movie's supposed to start soon. Just go away. Yeah, later. Pictures blurry. Why is this sound weird? Like, I think she got bloody goo on the film strip. Yeah, it yeah. seems to be sticking. Let's let's go to the projection booth and see what the hell's going on. Uh, who is it? It's us, the kids again. We threw you a twenty. What's going on? Uh, I had an accident. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, fix the the film. Uh, got lots of goo on it. <laughs> You have you have any uh, wipes? Oh my god! Uh, we gotta go to another theater. Get your twenty back. Uh. No refund. You help me now. <gasps> Let's get the hell out of here, guys. <laughs> Let's go home and watch the Goonies. Yeah. Woo. Tell me some of your movie rental times. Do you remember when there was a time when there wasn't rentals and then you rented it? How, what was that like when suddenly you could just pick a movie at random and come home and watch it? Uh, I don't know why this was a thing with, like, I don't know how my parents were okay with this, but I used to get together with my friends in, like, elementary school, middle school. We would watch horror movies every Halloween, and which is funny because now I can't even watch a horror movie trailer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's happened to me? But um, <laughs> we rented a movie once that was, like, a necrophiliac horror movie. And oh they, shit yeah i was like how did they not know this we just watched some dude like fuck a dead woman in a morgue it was really horrible is this like faces of death maybe i don't Yo, know this is was ringing it? a bell i don't know it what was it is awful i was like i can't believe we watched there, that wasn't there a movie called necromaniac or something like a oh. horror movie reanimator or something like that. all i know is it ruined me for life <laughs> what, what, what did the box art look like did it look cool and then you took it home and it was fucking it dead looks, people it looked scary that's all i know i was like this looks good for halloween guys let's do this and then we were like what the fuck we i think we still watched the whole thing though what our parents never gave a shit they're like just go watch a movie that was the best part about the little movie stores not the blockbusters but they had the indie movies they had like movies you would never see at a blockbuster right we had Tom, what was it called? Tommy J's. That was our video store. We had we had chimneys. I went to one that was in Seneca Knolls and I can't remember the name of it. That was the only place that had beta because that's what I grew up with. I didn't have VHS. I had beta. Mm. Back in was, the old days, yeah. <laughs> we only had beta. And my dad brought this machine home from work because that's what they were using at you know, he worked in a news studio. So yep. we would go to this place and they had like two aisles with beta. The whole rest of the store was VHS, so you're limited. And I think I watched Shaka Zulu a zillion times because wow, <laughs> one of the only movies we could get for some reason. Shaka Zulu. Awesome. <laughs> I've seen a lot. Yeah, we had Baby. Do you guys remember Baby? No. What is it that? Was, it was about a guy who heard that there was a dinosaur in the Congo, and he so he visits. <laughs> he visits the. And then he adopts, he finds a baby brontosaurus. I think this needs to go on our movie list. This is a, I watched this movie a million times. You don't understand. And did they have like wow. a fucking animatronic dinosaur with its arms moving yes. up and down? And everything? Really? Yeah. Well, a brontosaurus doesn't have arms, but it was like a long neck dinosaur. Oh, you know, right. Long tail. And it was a baby. Get your dinosaurs right, Jay. <laughs> I, didn't even I know. I had arms. my brother to help me about dinosaurs. Yeah. So they took care. They're trying to hide baby from the government. <laughs> they found. Oh. <laughs> what did they find? What did they, they find? They found the dinosaur. So the tribal people were trying to protect it, and the government was picking up that they found the dinosaur. <laughs> this is serious, man. Was it fucking movie. eating people? No. Wow. It was an innocent. It was called Baby. It was a. <laughs> Wow. So sad. I just got schooled on a new movie. Did you cry? Did you cry? It seems I so loved sad. it. I don't know if it was a tearjerker because I was okay. just like, you'd get, I'd get so into it. I loved, I thought the dinosaur looked real as hell. And it looked, if you go back, it's like animatronic. It's really bad. I would like everyone to know that the first thing that comes up if you type baby is Justin Bieber's baby. <laughs> How did he get to the top of the baby list on the internet? <laughs> okay. That's like a real claim. Baby, Ooh. Secret of the Lost Legend, 1985. The Lost Legend. 
Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that Sean Young from fucking Sean Young from fucking Blade Runner's in it? I don't remember who was in it. I just remember the movie and the storyline is so f- amazing to me. <laughs> wow, oh, man. I'm a really bad internet searcher. I just searched baby dinosaur and I got all these cartoons. Damn. <laughs> we were what? pitching uh, movies. You know, my dad, my dad knew a movie producer from India. You know, India is a huge producer of films, of right? Of course. Yeah, mm-hmm. Hollywood. Like, I'm going to produce him. I'm going to pitch him this. He had this idea called Gazelle Boy. I'm not lying. <laughs> oh my God. This is sounding like Rat Boy, but go ahead. Okay. It was about, it's just like Tarzan. Like Tarzan is raised by what, like chimpanzees or something. And he's left, you know, he ran away into the woods or whatever. This is about a kid that got away from his family. A group of gazelles raised him and he learned how to run fast because the gazelles are so fast. And jump. Yes. And that was the whole thing. And then he turns into like Olympic runner. This is my dad's movie idea. He literally was writing this down. I and I was all in it as a kid because it sounded amazing to me. Like, yes, the boy is raised by gazelles and he can he learned how to run super fast and he joins the Olympics. <laughs> like, Holy shit. What? Is there more to the script? <laughs> there is. I can't remember everything. It was it sounds like the dude. What's the guy who murdered his his <laughs> girl? Sorry. You know the guy who had the fake leg in the Olympics? That's what it reminds me of. I always thought he looked like gazelle-ish. Pistorius or whatever from yeah. South Africa. Yeah, yeah, he had like the the he has uh, a gazelle-ish look. Didn't they call him Blade Runner at one time or some shit? They did. They I think they did. Can That's... you imagine being raised by gazelles? Like would you be like on your hands and knees like grazing on grass? <laughs> I don't know. It's a damn mess. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, your movie, you got a movie rental story that I share with you. So go ahead. Oh, The Kingdom. Yeah. You know, when I had my room without a bed and a couch for everybody to come over, everybody was like, let's go rent The Kingdom, man. It's really cool. And we're like, great. So we all got together. I think Steffi, you were there. Becky was there. Disaster was there. was there. And our friend John was there. Maybe somebody else. I feel we, like I have bits and pieces of memory of that. I know that movie is like a week long. Yeah. So. Well, that that's why you have bits and pieces of it. We rent it and it's like fucking like three tapes. It's like one of these thick ass things. And we're like, fuck it. We'll get through it. And of course, we all smoke weed. We're drinking and shit. And by hour one, I remember looking around and like at different times, people were dozing and waking up. <laughs> Oh my god yeah it went on for like fucking eight hours it did it just <laughs> kept going yeah, it was a little, little bit of freaky part we'd wake people up like here here there's a, there's a ghost here and then it would be like two minutes and then some other bullshit terrible times <laughs> but good times <laughs> it's the second psa the first one is don't be high and watch fantasia and don't be high and watch the kingdom <laughs> yeah Oh my gosh, I can't, I had so many weird, oh, guys, someone's here. Oh. Hello. Oh, thank you. Mark, thanks so much. Wow, guys. What'd you get? We've been getting up? some doozies lately. I know I you got, got some. package. It says it's a Lizzie Maniac. <laughs> they got my name right. What is this? Should I open it? Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, listen to it first. I always check and see if it ticks. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. It's safe. Oh, good, good. Because we have haters and, you know. I don't see it. There's any, no dust on it or anything. No weird no, smells an, coming from it? No slime from a certain zombie? No. Okay. No. None of those. All right. Whew. All right. Let's see. Oh, my God. There's so many things in here. They're like presents. I have three presents. They're what? wrapped in a very mysterious black tissue paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's never a good sign. Oh, shit. All right, let's see. All right. What? It's a Transformers toothbrush pack. (laughs) Oral care travel kit. Or trousse de voyage d'hygiene boucalé. I don't know how to speak French, but there's a French option. Wow. Yeah, when your hubby comes home from his cunt job, he can brush his teeth really nicely with these kid, you know, they're... What are these little things though? They have like a little extra like little packs with them. What are these little packs? That so that's so if you want to if you want to travel, you can you can preserve your tooth. Oh, kit. it puts the top on the toothbrush. Right. Uh, oh my god, and they're little. What do you call them? Like hologrammy things. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's very exciting. All right, gift number one: clean hygiene. All right, let's see. 
Number two, number two. Oh my God! It's embossed metallic pop-up stickers that look like unicorns. Ah, oh, unicorns! Wow, wow! This is for your your movie, the underwater unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our movie, our movie, our movie. Our movie. Wow! <laughs> oh my God! They're so fun to press. It says one of them is a cloud, and it says "oops" on it. That's interesting. What does that mean? I don't know. It's like, oops, cloudy day. It's about to rain. That's sad. It's also donuts. I didn't know unicorns like donuts. Love it. All right. They're very mystical and mysterious. They are. Now I'm hungry for donuts. Oh, shit. (laughs) What is this? This is a Bollywood film. (laughs) Kamushi, the musical. All right, ready? Oh, I thought there was going to be a description. Is it in Blu-ray or... No, it's a. It looks like it's a regular VHS. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I'll have to dream about it. I can dream about you, cause I no longer have VHS. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no, but that's exciting. So uh, well, I really you can, like it. I'll can... watch it next time. I'm see you guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that sad? You get sad for me now? Yeah, no, a little bit. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to watch Kamushi. Come on. I wish I could show you a picture of this. Well, what does awesome. the cover look like? Like, is yeah. it like a, a dude and like a yeah, chick? Yeah, it's or... a dude. He's wearing a, it looks like he's wearing a regular white t-shirt and black pants, but he's dipping a woman who's wearing a very flowing red gown and there's a piano behind them. And there's there's images of a, a musical score behind them as well. Because it's a musical. Is there a description on what it what it is or no? Oh. It just has information about this video cassette tape is sold, rent out strictly for private exhibition. <sighs> private exhibition. <laughs> oh boy, we're Hereby. breaking the law. We're gonna go to Hereby jail. Hereby declare that this video cassette tape is exact copy of original censored celluloid film of the same film. Censored. Uh, I gotta look it up. Hey, hold up. Let me just look this up because we're gonna find out what this fuck this is about. This is serious. <laughs> this is serious right now. Ka. I- Moshi. Yeah, I want to hear huh? the log line. Yeah, we got, oh, it's 1996. Right, we got that. Oh, my God, I'm so excited for everybody. It's in Hindu. Hindi, I mean. Okay, Hindi language musical romantic drama film directed by Sanjay Leela Bansali in his directorial debut. Whoa. All right. They have a baby girl, Annie, who is able to speak and hear. A few years later, they have another baby, a boy named Sam, who also speaks and hears. Annie's life is divided into two worlds, one with her parents and the other of music, which she loves. Annie gets her musical inspirations from her grandmother, Maria Braganza. All right. <laughs> <laughs> She falls in love with some guy. She starts singing again. When Annie gets pregnant, oh, life continues. Her father tells her to abort the baby because it will dishonor the family. Oh, no. What a rude dude. I know. Listen, buddy. Listen, buddy. Annie refuses to go against her church and religion. When Joseph learns this, he asks Annie to leave the house. (laughs) Roz tries to convince Annie's father that he is a nice guy. (laughs) But Joseph dislikes him mainly because he is a Hindu. Who doesn't live in Goa? Wow, so much prejudice. This is the biggest description I've ever heard. This is really intense. So Annie would have to live far away from him. Oh, God, it's just really all. She's seriously injured? She goes into a coma? Oh, my God. Does she lose the baby? Wow. The high voice is crazy. Listen to this. Oh, my God. Oh my god, he's about to cry. He's like, damn, this girl sings good. Jay, you might be able to use this music. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I don't think it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. His mute parents. Her mute parents are really crying. Okay, I'm back. Hi. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <But. We're>, we're... <laughs> it's not a two taper or a three taper. We can all get together and watch it, you know, and be fine. Oh my god. We gotta get some. I don't know if this has a watch of a god subtitles. Do we really need that? No, nah, we don't oh, need subtitles. Oh, I guess we don't. We can make we up can... our own story. Yes. If we do gel tabs like Becky, we'll be able to feel it. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. from all of us maniacs. So we just wanted to welcome you uh, in. Thanks, yeah. Guys. Well, you're our favorite cousin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're our favorite brother, sister's cousin. Exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say I wasn't gonna correct you, but <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Let's talk about some movie stars we met. Lizzie, did you ever meet any movie stars? Well, I don't want to take you back to my uh, 
why I got my union card, but I was in a play off-Broadway at St. Anne's Warehouse starring Al Pacino, Marissa Tomei, Diane Weiss, David Strathairn, Aidan Quinn. What? Yeah. It was called Salome, and I was the slave, and I had two lines, and I messed up one of those lines the first night. That's amazing. Well, <laughs> did you say hi to anybody backstage or interact with them? Yeah, I loaned some gel to Aiden Quinn because his hair was fucked up, and I was like, I got gel, Aiden. Disaster loves him, by the way. She's going to be so jealous. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's really, really nice. His wife's name is Elizabeth, apparently. And then uh, Al Pacino, because they made me join Equity because of this, he was like, they made you join the union? Ah, they got you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, my shit doesn't even compare because I'm <laughs> Sestero. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so I went to a screening of The Room. Was it a screening? No, it's just a movie playing. I forgot where with you, Jay. It, it, was, it was a special screening because Sestero and Tommy Wiseau was going to be there. Yeah. Ooh. And yeah. yeah, we went up and I talked to Sestero. Jason couldn't wait, find it. Yeah. You and I were in the car and our chicks went to go wait in line and you and I smoked the biggest fucking bowl you can imagine. Oh. Oh, yeah. And then as <laughs> as Becky's blowing out her smoke, her chick knocks on the door and goes, Sestero and Tommy are, are going up and down the line. So oh, we, yeah. we rush out to go fucking meet them. Now, when you get high, if you have a lot of pockets and if you have like a backpack or something, they multiply by like four. Yep. So Sestero's like, yeah, let me, I'll, I, I bring out my DVD. He's like, yeah, I'll sign it. I couldn't fucking find the Sharpie for like two minutes. And, uh. <laughs> Luckily, this dude was getting his DVD signed, and then Sestero used that that marker to sign my shit. But uh, yeah, and we also saw somebody else in the theater when we were we were in the theater watching the room. We were, Becky and I were fucking vaping like champions, and we were drinking. And who who else did we see? Justin Long was sitting behind us, and we gave him some spoons Ooh. and gave him some candles and shit. If you remember, yeah. oh, that's so cool. Yeah. But you forgot the best part, Sestero and my Oh, partner. shit. I forgot. Yeah. He got a little cheeky with you. So oh, he yeah. did. He grabbed my ass. And here's the thing. <laughs> it was okay because he smelled like leather. <laughs> yeah, man. He smelled great. He smelled like musky leather. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Like a true cowboy. <laughs> so I, I met a couple of famous people because I worked at a video store on Upper East Side and then I worked at like a um, houseware store on Union Square. One of the ones I remember was like, you know, different stars would come in. Rick Ocasek from the Cars, John Malkovich, Ashley Judd came in. I helped her to her car and she said, thanks, honey. Michael J. Fox came in at one point because there, there was a security dude at the door and he would come to us and tell us, dude, did you see who walked in? And when Michael J. Fox walked in, everybody went fucking crazy, right? I got to bring him up so I'm, I'm bringing him up at the register there were these little demi toss spoons they're really tiny oh yeah i love those yeah so i'm bringing him up i hear him rummaging through the spoons and he picks one up and he goes eh, reminds me of the 80s and drops it <laughs> <laughs> I uh I helped uh one time I was working at the store and I heard somebody behind me go, Can I can I have some of these cookies? And I turn around, it's fucking Whoopi Goldberg. And she's like right there. And I'm like, Yeah, sure, fucking have a cookie. I grabbed a cookie, we're eating cookies. She's like, uh, will you help me out to my car? So I bring all her shit to her car, and as I shut the door, she's holding a cigarette in front of my face. She's like, You want a cigarette? And I'm like, Yeah, sure. So we're leaning up against her car, fucking having cigarettes and shooting the shit. You know, this fucking like wow. Becky, yeah. there's one that you and I did uh, with the Warriors guy. Oh, boy. There's two, actually, but the first one I have to tell before we go into the Warriors. Okay, sure, yeah. This one is just really funny. There's a cocktail bar downtown that used to be around called The Stoop. We would go up and have cocktails, you know, the ladies. And one night, I was throwing back the margaritas. And sitting next to me was Dennis Hopper. Whoa. And I, I was like, holy shit, I'm sitting next to Dennis Hopper. And I was starstruck yeah. and I didn't want to seem ridiculous, but I was like, can I buy you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, sure. And so I bought him a drink and we were sitting there and I'm like, I can't believe I'm, I, I'm sitting next to Dennis Hopper right now. This is insane. This is easy rider right here. And I, I bought him another drink and I'm sitting there for a while. He gets up to go to the bathroom and his friend that was sitting next to him, I didn't see, leans over and says, you know, that's just Fred. He looks like Dennis Hopper. <laughs> Everyone buys him drinks. <laughs> uh, 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 no. Fucking 
fucking Fred. Oh, fucking Fred. <laughs> but, How many uh, drinks did you buy him? Well, uh, just like three, probably Whoa. two, three. Yeah. That's I mean, I thought I'm having a good conversation with Dennis what? Hopper. Is, where was this? At the stoop downtown. Did he look exactly like him, or was there like, any hint that he didn't fucking look like Dennis Hopper? No, he was the same height. He 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 looked just like him, man. He was wow. he was even uh, the same age looking at the time. Fred is cleaning up. Man, he <laughs> is. He had me fooled. But Hot go ahead, damn. Jason. Go back to the other one. I'm sorry. I had to tell that. So I lived on the Upper East Side when we first moved to Manhattan in 2000. I watched the Warriors one night, and then I go the next morning to get egg and cheese at the bodega. I'm walking back with the egg and cheese to my apartment, and I notice David Patrick Kelly is going into my building. And I'm like, holy fuck, that's the Warriors, dude. Becky comes to stay with us one weekend, and I go back. He's on the, like the first floor. Let's take my Warriors tape, get him to sign it. So we couldn't, we couldn't like, we needed drinks. So we have some drinks and shit and we go down to the first floor. And then what do you recall back? This motherfucker's got the video camera on me while I'm walking to this guy's door. I'm, I'm hiding around the corner and I'm dipping the video camera out to tape Becky at the far end of the hall, knocking on his door. I've got liquid courage because I, I could hear like the TV on, possibly dinner being cooked. <laughs> yeah. He knows karate too. <laughs> I thought I didn't go because I thought he'd fucking kill me. You live in my apartment. I'm going to fucking kill you. So that's yeah. why I never. I knock on the door and I say, hi, I'm really sorry to bother you, but are you David Patrick Kelly? And he's like, why? Yes, I am. And I go, oh, I'm sorry. It was a bad time. He's like, well, I am having dinner with my, I think his wife. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's just one of my friends lives in this building and he saw you and he's just a big fan. Can you sign this for me? And he kind of looked at me and I mean, this guy, I could have ate a meal off his head. He was so he, short. Yeah, he's fucking four foot two, but he knows karate <laughs> and he's fucking, you know, he's in commando as a bastard in the Warriors. <laughs> But I mean, he was so cool. He just gave me a smile and he signed it. And I started walking towards Jason, who was videoing it the whole time. And what did it say, Jay? It said, um, to Jason, come out to play. Luther. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. It was an adrenaline mm. rush. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Jay. Syracuse is a big town for plays and productions. Mm -hmm. So a lot of famous people, my, my dad, because he worked in at a news station would meet a lot of famous people and they'd be in for plays. And he, he met so many famous people. In fact, at one time when Karate Kid 3 came out, he got me an autograph from one of the actors in that movie. I think it was the, the enemy, the guy that was bad. I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. a, he's a ponytail dude. Yeah. I had oh, a, yeah. I had a auto silver. Yeah. I had a Is whole that... autograph from that guy because he came into Syracuse. Did but, he sign um, it silver? <laughs> I don't, I can't remember. I don't know what I did with that. We because my dad did because he worked at uh, ABC. We always got these weird promotional posters that he would bring home. So I had like a picture of Oprah Winfrey <laughs> that I'd hang in my like like <laughs> in my bedroom next to like whoever else that he'd get. It would be all like all the the TV shows that came out at the time, and it was so funny. But anyways, I met Eli Wallach. He was in The Godfather Ooh. Three. Yeah. Yeah, so he I met him in the mall, and he he loved talking to my dad. He was staying in town doing a play in Syracuse, so my dad on his breaks would go over to Shopping Town Mall because at the time the TV station was they was at the mall in the basement because they were wait, building another place. So they used it as like a temporary studio. So when I was a kid, I'd go over at times to visit my dad at work. I'd walk around with him when you could smoke cigarettes in the mall, which was awesome. He would be smoking, and then he bumped into Eli Walk, and he invited him over a house for dinner. Well, my mom was mortified because we're thinking Eli Walk probably lives in a mansion somewhere, <laughs> and we lived in, like, an apartment-type house, you know? Like, we owned the whole house. We had renters upstairs. It was not a beautiful place. <laughs> you know? So my mom was like, he is not coming over here. <laughs> So he never came over for dinner. My dad was so disappointed. He's like, no, you can make him pasta, Marie. Just make him some pasta. He was in The Godfather. I'm sure he would like. And my dad talked to him for a whole week. And I got to meet him during that week, which he was a really nice guy. I know that um, fucking dude. I'm looking him up. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. He was in Godfather 3. He's in a lot of shit. Yeah. Hmm. And the last person that I almost met, my brother, my brother Tim and I went on a trip to London. But we were down at... at uh, LaGuardia Airport or whatever. The guy from Mall Rats or whatever. What the hell is his name? He wears the hockey outfit. Kevin, Kevin Smith. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin Smith. Smith. 
I, w- oh. I went to the bathroom, and then that's when it happened. My Both my brothers were like, oh, it's Kevin Smith. They went up to him, shook his hand. And when I came out of the bathroom, they're like, we just met Kevin Smith. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, ah, oh, crap. So that was an almost me. <laughs> it was an almost me. I was <laughs> like, I felt like I, I met them in proxy. And... I stalked Daniel Day-Lewis once into Washington Square Park. When what? I was, like, hiding behind a tree. Wow. It was really, because he, he was in a bookstore I was in with a friend of mine at college. And we were like, I think that's him. And we were like pretending to have a conversation, but we were like talking about him. We were like whispering in the bookstore. And then we followed him to Washington Square Park. And we hid behind a tree, and my friend went up to him, and she was like, "We really admire your work." <laughs> it was so dumb. But, <laughs> and he was like, "Thank you." And he was wearing like a biker outfit. Was he in a movie that involved bikers? I don't know. He was like wearing like an all leather. He was probably getting all like into some role. Wow. Maybe he That's wasn't. Weird. Maybe that was just his regular outfit. Yeah, could have been. Could have been a streetwear. <laughs> Yeah, Alec, yeah. Ba- Alec Baldwin was wearing like a long trench coat and he looked, he was just moving around like he was just ready to knock people over. <laughs> what? <Damn>. He was. <laughs> what the hell? Like he's some then... sort of fucking. We have a call. Oh, what? God. Another call? <sighs> you know how we feel about calls. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, you take it, Jay. Take it. All right. Umbrella Hawks, what you fucking want? It's right now. Oh. What are you fucking? Right now, we're we're in a show. What's going on? I do, I hear movies playing. I hear talking. You're doing something fun. Well, yeah, yeah, we're doing something fun. Yeah, hey, what are you, what are you up to? Uh, nothing. I'm feeling a little bored, a little lonely, and uh, something told me I should try to go to a rave or some such nonsense. So I thought I'd cool. Oh, it's just making me feel bad. <laughs> You're making us feel bad. You know, all right. You know where we live, right? Yeah, I know where you live. Are uh, you doing drugs? I need to feel again. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we can't tell you. We can't tell you any of that. So just come up. Come upstairs, okay? Okay, I'll be there in uh in a five gif? minutes. All right. All right. Or see... less. Or less. Okay. See you in a bit. Is she coming here? You're letting her into. We got to make peace with her. Let's just try and let's show her a good time. Maybe that'll flip her around. Maybe she'll, you know, she'll bring us some fucking Zima and rent us a movie. <laughs> Well, that's what I was going to say. You got any Zimas? You got something to get? Yeah. Her? Yeah. She yeah, better bring something. something. Good. I don't know. I don't know if she's going to bring anything, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like she's uh, running on empty. Edna's, uh, well, you never know. <laughs> yeah. She lost her Tamagotchi. You know, she's depressed. <laughs> Right, she likes right. cantaloupe. We have some in the fridge if she, uh, you know. If oh, all that's a great idea. Things go sideways. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Hello. Oh I'm my here. God, it's Edna. I'm hey. here. Edna. Uh, well, uh, I like your place. Just kidding. It's crazy in here. Oh. <laughs> Edna, have a seat. Just take a seat, all right? Relax. Step, step over the wires. You'll be all right. God, this is a death trap. <laughs> so what's, what's going on with you? Ah, forgive me for my vulnerability, but. I'm starting to think you assholes might be just the dickbag neighbors I need. Well, we, we love prefer- you, Edna. It's a love-hate thing, you know? We feel the same way. Yeah, we're. it's weird to see you in person, I gotta say. <laughs> and, and by the way, Edna, we prefer fuck faces, okay? Well, you're entitled to your opinion. So we got this movie called, what was that again, Liz? C- Caragrassian or whatever the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, no, uh, <laughs> nice try uh kamoshi kamoshi yeah what do you think about bollywood edna bollywood i think i've seen one of those movies one time it was very bouncy (laughs) (laughs) yeah okay lively but also sad but you can dance to it i did dance to it that was one of that was my dancing days edna has dancing days too was that during the 20s (laughs) <laughs> Were you, you a flapper fuck girl? Face. You fuck face. I'm younger than that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, maybe Lizzie will let you borrow the movie if you want to rekindle those old feelings. Oh, that's a good idea. You have a VCR? I think I have a VCR, yeah. I'll dig it up. <laughs> well, 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 we'll give you some microwave popcorn. You need a nice drink. I know how to make a really good slow gin fizz with a light lemon twist. I think you'll love it. You're very nice. Oh, thanks. This is You're good. welcome. I'm liking this with Edna. Are we making peace? I think we're making peace. <laughs> peace. If there's peace with all of us, then you're okay with us. What are you trying to make me cry? 
<laughs> I probably should head out. I don't want to get too personal here, but I'll take the movie. I'll watch it. I watch a movie about every 20 years, but I will take this one. I will break the rules for once. Make sure you rewind it, or we're going to charge you 50 cents. Iota, 50 cents, that's a ripoff. <laughs> and I better not hear those Bollywood beats coming up into the studio, Edna. I will show you some of your own medicine. Is that the phrase? I'll give it to you. Play some loud Bollywood hits and you'll have to figure out what to do with your fish who are all disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you uh, leave the Zima at the door and just get the fuck out now, Edna? Things turned around pretty fast. <laughs> Sticking my fingers up at you, and you know which one. <laughs> Have a nice night. Bye. 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 The taste is great in the filter tip Terryton. All the pleasure comes through in the filter tip Terryton. Smokes milder, smokes smoother, draws easier. Yes, the taste is great in the filter tip Terry Tun. Hi guys, welcome to my tour. Thanks for being on the bus today. I'm gonna take you around, show you a couple, uh, you know, major spots. All right, so what we're passing here right now, don't stand up, don't stand up on the bus. You can take a look at this corner. This is where famous rapper, actor, producer, 50 Cent once dropped 25 Cent in the sewer grate and almost got hit by a pedicab. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. It was pretty monumental, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, uh, well, we want to see where George Clooney lives. Is it, it, I heard he's in Soho, is it, you know? He's hot. Listen, I don't take requests on this tour, but I'm going to tell you uh, something that you might be more interested in. Right over here on this corner, Prince Harry of England once ran into Harry Styles, also of England, in 2018, and they both were, yup, you guessed it, unshaven. Oh, oh. Disaster yeah. thinks they're hot. Is she seriously telling us that two Harrys met at the corner <laughs> right now? This is what we paid $18 on, yeah. for? And they were both unshaven. This is the shot where Beyonce once ordered a smoothie and then did such an amazing dance number for her hive on the street that the store manager died of pure joy. His family did not sue. Wow. Whoa. Steffi, you got that yeah. driveway vodka? Let's do some of that, man. We're going to need that for this trip. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Sheesh. Are you guys drinking on the bus? Oh, no, that's, wa that's water. That's water. It's magic no. water. It's fine. You can drink. Uh, yeah. makes me rem reminds me of a time. Uh, I don't know if you've been to this performance venue, but you should know. Here we go. Passing it on the right. You should know that Dame Judy Dench once threw up right in front of orchestra row H, seat six. It was bad oysters, she said. The puke remains there. It's covered by a glass case with one usher to guard it and shoot to kill orders. Guys, maybe we should check that place out after the tour, actually. That sounds actually great. <laughs> Pretty fucking awesome. Did yeah. anyone collect that and put it in a jar? No, it's in the case. It's in the, in case? the case. Did you not listen? God. Ugh. All right, guys. I'm sick of this. You guys got to get off this bus. I'm Wait, sorry. D disaster had something to say about Judy Dench. What? She's hot. <laughs> listen, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. She's a hot fucking dame, bitch. I'm serious. This is the best tour I've ever been on. It's the invention of it is amazing. <laughs> the invention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else you got? Is Keanu Reeves live down here in NoHo or what? What's going on? Keanu Reeves, yeah, I've, saw, I've seen him walking around. He's pretty tight, man. He's nice. He's waved at the bus before. I saw him trip once. Uh, we all laughed. I saw Keanu on the subway. What do you do on the all subway? Right, tell us. He was just, he was sitting there. And, he, and what was he? He was hot? Oh, yeah. Was he manspreading? No, he gave his seat up to a woman. <laughs> Did he have his long flowing John Wick hair? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I think the Disastro, is that your name? I think you, you should lead this tour. You got some great facts. Really great facts. Hey, thanks. So <laughs> so this is it. This is what we paid 18.75 for. Yeah, I want to know. Yeah. Do you drop us off at the Chinese buffet after this? 
I do not. I drop you off on the Upper West Side, and you you uh, you have to find your way downtown. Like like the Warriors, we have to escape the baseball furies and try and get downtown. That is correct. Okay. All right. All right, girls. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Let's get some vodka. And we'll yeah. Get Time to take. Have that. a great day. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah. We'll never be doing this again. Thank you. Bing bong. <laughs> Bye. Peace. God, we should have taken the walking tour. My earliest memory going to a movie was uh, Star Trek II, I think, came out in, like, 1981, so I was about seven, and my mom fucking took me. It was a packed fucking house, right? There's a moment where Kirk and Khan are in this nebula, and their shields are down. They're like two submarines. They're hunting each other down, and at a certain point, when you're looking at the screen, you can see Khan's ship in the foreground. In the background, the Enterprise rises up, and this fucking dude stands up, and when he stands up, you hear his beer bottle like hit the ground and shatter and he's got a cigarette in his mouth and he points at the he, he points at the screen and goes Kirk! <laughs> and then everybody started clapping and shit i have one where i went to see a movie with my friend and you and disastra and it was a star wars movie all right <laughs> and it was a pretty big theater and it was one of those theaters that really have that slant. You and my friend run down there with lightsabers and start dueling in front of everyone, like the pre-show. And it was just glorious. Everyone was laughing. All attention. They thought this was like set up by the theater company or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, no, we practiced beforehand. <laughs> yeah. I remember wanting to go see the third Star Wars. It was like Ewoks or whatever. My dad went to go take us. We only had two theaters, like in two different malls. There was either Camillus Mall or Shopping Town Mall here in Syracuse. And so he took us to both, and they were both sold out. So I ended up seeing Fox and the Hound because <laughs> there was yeah. no, every, everything was packed to see star wars so that was very memorable for me it was like trying to make it to that movie and not making it <laughs> seeing fox <laughs> now and instead oh that sucks that but fox suck. i love her to the jedi yeah <laughs> how about you lizzie any memorable movie moments yeah i mean i remember i wish i could remember all the details of this but we i remember going with i went <laughs> I went with a bunch of uh, a bunch of friends, maybe I don't know, a few friends, and our parents to see Real Genius in the theater. Love that movie! You saw that in the Gilmore. theater? Oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, saw the theater, but not just that. They had a double feature, and they had Better Off Dead right Ooh. afterwards. And we're like, Mom, Dad, can we stay for Better <laughs> Off Dead? And they were like, Yeah. We were like, Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. It was a really exciting. That's a m great double it was feature. Real genius. Yeah, it was a real good. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Yes. Okay, that's where the popcorn house. Yes, yeah, and at then the, end. the poor guy that had like the, in the um, basement, the like intercom system in his head, and he was being talked yeah. to or whatever on his braces. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on his braces. <laughs> <laughs> he, you know what? He's another classic '80s asshole, like William Zabko, that dude. Yeah. Oh, with the, with the floppy blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, he was he was the asshole in Bachelor Party, you know, and uh, Real I'm, Genius. I miss That's those so movies. That's so funny. I do too. That was such a fun movie. Lizzie has never done a this or that or funny money, so I have a funny money for Lizzie, okay? Yeah, we have a couple too. All right. Take the worst role from a sequel and have to live with that stigma forever. Beetlejuice 2 or Mac and Me 2. <laughs> I never saw Mac and me. <laughs> I'll go with Beetlejuice too. That is a good choice. I think it's a it better choice. Okay. I think if you're gonna, yeah, if you're gonna have a stigma, you're gonna it should... kill your like, uh, like work history. <laughs> go. With... If you, if you'd said Beetlejuice two and Mac and me one, she still would have picked Beetlejuice two. <laughs> okay, Lizzie, this is for. 40 million and 32 cents okay oh my god i'm so excited the wyland corporation from the alien movies wants to impregnate you with a alien and we're gonna we're gonna take you back to earth there's a 50 50 shot that things might go wrong but they want to get it out of you so they can make it into a weapon here's a fun fact i won't carry any baby <laughs> do not have kids for a reason so no <laughs> me too amen sister <laughs> all of us that's why that's why we're the maniacs we refuse to have children i got i got some more money on the line for you lizzie oh shit oh shit i'm scared all Go right ahead. this is for five million seven hundred and sixty five dollars fuck you get the role of a lifetime 
but you have to gain 350 pounds. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm going to say, God, it's so, it's a debatable because if I wanted to lose the weight later, I'd probably get a trainer, you know, depending with all this money and stuff like that. But there might be a health risk to it. You know, that's a lot of weight to gain for in a short period of time. That's right. what would worry me. Yeah, but it's that's five what, million. Five, five million. dollars <laughs> Shit. Um, I'll do it. Fuck, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Hey, hey, Lizzie, will you take us to Abifa? What? Five, if you get five million bucks and you, you you pass the test, will you take us to Abifa so we can go rave? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, All right. She's going to do it. I told you she's my favorite. What cousin. a trooper. What a cousin. <laughs> Brother, sister's cousin right there. Brother, sister's cousin. <laughs> so, a lot of us are fans of some B movies. Let's talk a little bit about that. Bought this movie a little while back. It's kind of similar to Samurai Cop. <laughs> But it's called Miami Connection. For I, I fucking so. love Miami Connection. I got to say, it has a really great soundtrack. Friends through eternity, <laughs> loyalty, honesty, we'll stick together. Is it right? You remember that? Yeah, she's a really good, like the band is awesome. She's a good It singer. is. Let me just read from Wikipedia how it describes this movie. Yeah, I can't, okay. I can't even, I can't even imagine how they describe this movie. So it says, in 1987, independent martial arts film starring... Y.K. Kim, who also <laughs> wrote and produced the feature. Originally, the film was critically maligned and received poor box office return upon release. It remained unseen for decades until Draft House Films restored the film for a proper release in 2012. Okay, you well, know what? Um, Apparently, Draft House Films saw on eBay or some shit that there was this film canister and they bought it. And it was the lost copy of Miami Connection. And that's why we have Miami Connection right now. Wow. Okay, so this is, this is the plot. A cocaine deal in Miami is interrupted by a group of motorcycle riding ninjas <laughs> led by Yoshido who steal the drugs and ride back to Orlando to party. At a club, Yoshido's close associate, Jeff, sees his sister Jane on <laughs> stage. <laughs> I mean, so she has become romantically involved with John, the bassist of the club's band, Dragon Sound. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to get a shirt of that and rock it in the summer. It would be so funny. Yeah. It's such a great film. I never laughed so hard in my life. It's like one of the top B movies I've ever seen. Lizzie, did you ever see that? No. Oh, I'm, I'm having you and the hubby over, man. It's the oh, it's God. it's better than The Room. It's it's really great. Becky saw it, though. We showed oh, yeah. You. At Uncle Polly's. You're like... You guys are like the uh, kings and queens of of B movie knowledge. You guys got a lot of got a good one. Well, we're fucked up. Pocket. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we right. clearly have problems. We're maniacs. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's why we're related. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Tor Troll Two. I don't think is that good. Um, it's okay. I think The Room is kind of the the godfather of those type of movies. But Samurai mm -hmm. Cop to me has the most absurd kind of edits and shit like at one point they filmed like you know 60 percent of the movie the director got money and said hey come back and do the movie and the main dude had cut his hair off and so there's all these scenes where he has a clear fucking wig i remember that mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like a woman's like a lady's wig and I, every time i when i first saw the it's movie, like a dracula wig or something i know i was like why is he wearing a woman's <laughs> wig like that looks so fake and <laughs> And it's funny because if you watch the interviews with the guy that did that movie, he knew how bad it was. Like he, he's like, why is this guy doing this? You know, like, but he, he, he needed money and he needed a job and he just continued to do it. He knew how bad it was. And it's freaking hilarious how bad it is. That's yeah. awesome. It's the best is, movie. Is, Chris, is Christine considered a B movie? Like that car, that scary car? No, no, that's like, a oh, big movie. that's like legit. Yeah. <laughs> All Ole over here, Ole. <laughs> Come on, you've had to have seen a B movie. I must have, probably was Jason. I didn't show you anything like crazy. No, like I'm that? sure you have. I feel like you showed me Samurai Cop. You didn't see the room? Oh yeah, the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. yeah. like what else? But that's like a cult thing now. Yeah, that's so what it's... I mean. Now it's like yeah, but I'm sure she's never seen the classic Flying Ryan. Oh my no. god! No, uh... tell back. Tell tell her what it. <laughs> tell her Listen. what it is. Listen, all I, all I know is there's a whole lot of little boy flying around with sneakers with wings on them. <laughs> troll, troll trolls, two. trolls two is so freaking funny. I could not, I could not help laugh. It was just the the best movie of all time. 
I named my minivan after that. Mm-hmm. Yep. What? You did? What? You named it Troll 2? No, instead of uh, Goblins, it was Nilbog. And I got the Nilbog. bumper sticker that said Nilbog. Oh. <laughs> Which is Goblin backwards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, fuck me, oh, man. No. Do you guys want to see a movie tonight? Let's go get a couple of tall boys and go see a flick. There's a classic movie festival going on. Let's call Fandango and get some good seats. I got it. Let's call. Thank you for calling Fandango. How can I help you? Classic movie fest, fuck face! <laughs> Excellent. There are plenty of seats available. Please select your movie. Press 1 for Miami Connection. Press 2 for Lion Ryan. Press three for The Room. Press four for Samurai Cup. What do you guys think? I haven't seen Miami Connection yet. Go ahead. Press one. Sorry, that's completely sold out. It's sold out! What the fuck? Didn't it say there was plenty of seats left? I lied. Uh, did you guys hear that? Did it just say something? Okay, fuck it. Let's just see Flying Ryan. Hit two. Ryan! Not a chance. How the fuck is Flying Ryan sold out? Give me the phone. You got a lot of problems, you know that, robot? No more than you, tall boy. All right, well, let's hope there's seats for the room left, goddammit. There are no seats for you piss flaps. If I could reach through this phone, I'd slap the shit out of you, you know that. I am the voice of Fandango, and I don't think I like you maniacs very much. Give me the fucking phone. Come on, fucking four already. We want to see Samurai Cop. Welcome to Fandango. How can I not help you? Ah, what the fuck? I can't fucking believe this bastard thing. Give me the fuck. Give me the- Hey, hey, oi, jag off. You either give us the goddamn seats, I'm gonna punch a fucking dent in your neck. I thought I told you, fuck nuggets, that there are no more seats available. Do you believe this? This fucking robot's getting smart with me. Hold on, hold on. Why don't you meet me out in the back alley of the movie theater at midnight? Chains, knives, or guns? What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) This is some kind of gangster fandango. Did you ever see the movie Lawnmower Man? Well, yeah. Why? Do you know who HAL 9000 is? Skynet? I think this thing is gonna try and take us over. You mean, like it's fucking dead in Demon Seed? Do you know what I am going to do? Shut your ass down! Listen, what the fuck? you fuck face. Fuck? I'm gonna ah, fucking get you, you fucking bastard. Come here. You come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> so come here. Crazy. <laughs>